I'm Ben, here again with Itinerant Immersive. We have somebody new working with us here every day. Uh, Kat's actually been helping us for a long time, posting things to social media and helping us marketing things. But now Kat's getting to spend a good chunk of their summer working here with us on site. So Kat, would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Kat. Um, I'm from around this area. I grew up in Northwest Oklahoma and I have two little kids. Um, grew up writing and now I get to do this and I love it. And I'm really grateful to be a part of the social media and even just the day-to-day -day stuff now. Great, well, we're happy to have you. This also seemed like a good time to talk to folks a little bit about what we're doing because this is a weird project and although these videos come out every week, not everybody goes at, back and actually, you know, watches all the old ones. So this is kind of a chance to explain, hey, what is this weird thing that we keep posting about? Um, the really short answer, of course, is that we're, we're making art and we're making immersive art. Immersive art's this weird art where we take all these things, different kinds of art, and put it together, in this case, in the form of the abandoned spaceship behind us. Uh, Kat, you saw Sugar High, the project we did here in town last year, right? I did, and my kids loved it too. What was your favorite part of, of either Sugar High or some other piece of immersive art, Factory Obscura? What, what do you like best about immersive art? Being able to walk in and have all of your senses tickled. Um, and <laughs> sometimes, sometimes whether that's, you know, you walk in and there's this music immediately or there's the visuals, um, being able to look at that and then it, being able to look closely and step back at things. Like that's my favorite part of just all the different perspectives that you don't get with um, sometimes analog art. You can just in involve yourself in every way with it. Yeah, so over the coming months, you're gonna get to see us every week as we post videos and, and get this project closer to being done, you're gonna to get to see the actual things going in. So much of what we've been posting about over the last few months has been either the, you know, the boring part of getting everybody organized or the nitty gritty part of gutting and skinning out the interior of this big building. We're gonna actually start to see art go in really soon. It's gonna be a lot more fun and a lot more interesting and, and I think gonna give everybody a better idea of what immersive art can be. But you've known, you've got to see some of what we have planned. What's your favorite thing that you've either heard about or seen plans for going into this installation? What are you most excited about? Um, definitely the, the piece like where we're able to walk back through and just start getting more and more enveloped in the spaceship. That's really exciting to me because it feels like you're like in a different world. And I think that's what we're going for anyway, is just feeling like I'm in somewhere else. I'm not here in Enid. I think that's the best part about immersive art, that we can create this whole different world using all these different kinds of, of weird art and, and bringing that everywhere. It's not just about what we get to do in Enid, it's about taking this whole building to cities all over Oklahoma so we can expose folks to something new and something fun and something exciting even if you don't live in a big city or happen to live in, in our weird little, you know, micropolitan region here in Northwest Oklahoma. So that's the plan coming up. Uh, the rest of this week's video, you get to see a little bit of the metal fence sculpture that we started last week and is pretty much done at this point. Also, you know, my kids have been involved in all this. Kids can be involved in immersive art just as much as anybody. So towards the end of this week's video, over the weekend I did a little project with my kids and my youngest daughter, Emmeline, decided to film some of the project herself. She loves our videos. So you get to see a little bit of what a nine-year-old films for their own build video. Anyway, that's what we're going on. Please keep in touch, come back every week. Like and subscribe, as tried as it is. We do have t-shirts still for sale. And um, thank you for watching.
We're about to do our first testing to see if the fence is dog proof. Wish us luck. Puppy dogs. Finnegan, Libby, come here. Could sure poke his little nose through. That's adorable. such a good size hole for you to say hi through. But you can't get through there. and I'm gonna hang it up on my door. This is a stall. Colors. That is all. I don't know. Perfect. That work, Corey? <laughs> Great, cool. 